A gas loses 1,400 joules of heat while it contracts from 0.003 cubic meter to 0.001 cubic meter under a constant pressure of two atmospheres. For this process, find A, heat added to the gas, B, work done on the gas, and C, the changing internal energy of the gas. And does the temperature of the gas increase or decrease in this process? Although this problem does not ask us to plot a PV diagram for the process, it can often be helpful to see what the PV diagram is like when we solve a problem. So I will start with the diagram. The pressure is kept at a constant, so it's going to be a horizontal line. The pressure is kept at the two atmospheres, and the volume goes from 0.003 to 0.001, so the process goes that way. A for the heat added to the gas. Since uh, the gas loses 1400 joules of heat, that means uh, the heat added to the gas is negative 1400 joules. Part B, the work done on the gas. The work done on the gas for an isobaric process is the negative P times delta V, or we can say it is the area of the PV diagram. And because the volume decreases, that means that the work done on the gas must be positive. So I'm just going to use the positive area. So it's a positive number, and the area under the graph here is a rectangle, and it has a height of two atmospheres. But if I want my work to be in joules, the standard unit, I need to use the standard unit for the height, which will be 2 times 10 to the fifth pascals. The base of the rectangle is the difference in the volume, so the change in volume here, that is 0 0.002. Well, actually, the change in volume is the final minus the initial, so the change in volume is a negative number, but right now, I just want the positive, the area. The area has a base that's 0 0.002. So, this is 400 joules. If you use this part, you would have negative 2 times 10 to the fifths, and your delta V would be negative 0 0.002, so you'll end up with the same positive 400 joules. Part C, the change in internal energy. And according to the first law, it is the Q plus W. We have the Q, negative 1400, plus the W, positive 400. So the delta U would be negative 1,000 joules. And then we want to know whether the temperature increases or decreases. There are at least two ways we can use it. One is uh, the delta U is a negative number. That means internal energy decreases. So the temperature must also decrease. Or we can use the PV diagram, we can compare the P times V. The one with the larger P times V is the one with the higher temperature. So the initial temperature is higher than the final temperature. So temperature decreases.